my father. His name is Samuel Howard, and so is mine. I was his firstborn son, and he put me through flight school along with my mother. So today I decided that I would surprise him with his very first general aviation flight. Because I have taken a great deal of uh, my friends and family flying, but this was my first time actually taking my father. I can genuinely say that uh, it was an amazing flight, and it was as much fun for him as it was for me. That's our house. It's always nice to get a different perspective of your home. So it's at this point I decided to bank right and head to the four nautical miles to McCord Air Force Base, incidentally my place of employment. I was going to be doing a low approach just to show my father the airfield. A couple of years ago I did a low approach about 50 feet off the runway. It was probably not the smartest thing to do. You can take a look for yourself, I provided a link in the description. Let's just say when I got to work the next day, my boss wasn't too happy. But I digress. So on this flight, I decided to do away with the shenanigans and stay about 500 feet off the runway, so as not to scare my father. Going down to November 90466, still about five miles to the east, uh, inbound for a uh, low pass, runway 35, and then back to uh, Sunfield. As you will observe on this real-time approach into McCord Air Force Base, my dad and I were being tossed around quite extensively. That was due to the fact that a heavy C-5 Galaxy had just departed the airfield about two minutes prior, and we were cautioned by the tower of its uh, heavy wake turbulence. As we were heading home, I decided to tease my father with a parabolic maneuver, as I do with all first-timers, uh, called a zero-gravity pushover. It's kind of like the feeling that you get when you're at the top of the loop of a roller coaster, and then it uh, falls rapidly downhill. Now, I can say that that was probably a little bit too much excitement for my father, but hearing him laugh is a moment that I will cherish for the rest of my life. So much so that I have a snapshot of this portrait in the media room of my home for me to cherish. Since retired, my son's moved away I called him up just the other day I said I'd like to see you if you don't mind He said I'd love to, Dad, if I can find